On the city newsroom today, we have premixed fuel in focus. Now, this is a commodity that has become very political as it has become economic. Fishermen have been lamenting about how premix has been diverted. The government became smart by changing the color to blue. But the fishermen are still complaining that the product is being hoarded by people who sell it to them. And according to a report by the chairman of the premix committee, that's Nilante Bannerman, some of the people who sell this premix fuel sell it for more than 100% of the price. For instance, a price around 400 cities will go as much as 1,200 cities. We've come here today for the city newsroom to the landing beach at Tema to assess this story, hear from the fishermen themselves, and also speak to the task force that has been set up to enforce the proper sale of premix at the right price. Uh, let me go to this shed where fishermen today is a Tuesday. They're not working, they are mending their nets. If I could just quickly uh, speak to one of them. Hello, can I, can I help you? Let me, let me hold this one for you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, hello, my, my name is Umaru from City TV. What's your name? My name is George Ai. George Ai. Tell me about uh, premix. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here, I'm I'm here, I'm I'm here. Who are the people who buy and then oh. they do that to you? Maybe I mean I'm here. I'm more. I'm here. 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 But the filling station or the pump station is just here. Is at the landing beach with you. So why is that? It's not easy for you to get. I'm a footer. I'm here. 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 I'm if you we are still sampling views from them. I'm under the shed where fishermen are mending their nets. Open in patch of um, sub premix in same same no muy and say, and I a cost. Eh, same like a saga cra to our fishing idea is very bad. It's not say Petrono Modebano Petrono at times say, yeah, Petron, yeah. Petro here and now time Sabia and now and number two and so on. Now you hear Petro and say you do quit Juma. You hear Petro and from quit Juma. In Tibo, at times Sabia say you three days, four days. Now you have Tifi, you quit Juma. Now if we Juma no swan, yeah, 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 but say your cows are near your cotton, or more bashel or cotton, well, or more bashel or cotton or muduko fieno. Say shell petroni short to her, and say your call outside near your cotton, and near connection one. At times I have been to meet only thirteen, twelve, well, twelve million, thirty million, no boy adding. Yes, and I said to me, so committee no more certain or committee no more. Ah, me to me, I mean to me, I say, and what? Oh, mean to me, I say, and what about me, the young fish are messing there. Your problem na ne say petrol no high too much at the mahe. Yeah, that's it. So that's another sad story of how uh, they are losing out to people who hoard uh, the premix and uh, sell it to them at exorbitant prices. Uh, now this is just by the fact that a committee has been set up uh, to at least solve this particular issue. Now premix in the past has always been tracked, but it seems the surveillance now is on the high side. The man who runs Ghana's premix fuel now, who sits at the top of Ghana premix, Nilante Bannerman, has actually set up a committee uh, whose job is to track the movement of premix, the sale, and also to prevent the hoarding of the commodity, which has been an issue in the past where fishermen have had to complain. And luckily, we've run into the committee at work. There's a tanker that has just finished of loading and they're here to inspect. Hello, committee members. Welcome to City Newsroom. Yeah. I think I'll just stand in there somewhere in, in between. Um, who, who is the chairman? This is the chairman. So yeah. the chairman. Yes, please. What's your name? Yeah, I'm Isaac Newton. Isaac. Yes. And these are your members? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So what, what, what do you do, committee members? You are, you are 11? Yeah, we are 11 number. You were set up by, by Neil and Tate Bannerman. Exactly. I mean... What's your, what's your supposed to do? What's your scope of work? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, we, are, we have been. Uh, we were set up uh, through the National Premise Committee mm -hmm. 
in collaboration with the Tama Municipal Assembly. Okay. And about three weeks ago, we were inaugurated at the Assembly, and I'm the chairman of the committee. I think basically our mandate is to make sure, you know, there has been a lot of complaints that the fisher folks are not getting the premix. Mm. And then there's another point of hoarding in the system. Mm -hmm. When the premise comes, instead of the premise going to the fisher folks, most of the people will buy and then they add some additional money to sell to the premise, uh, to the fisher folks. So this committee was set up basically to come in to curtail that problem. Oh, yeah. What is happening here? So there's a tanker. Uh, can you tell me, walk me through what has been happening here? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I had a call from Thor this morning mm -hmm. that a tanker will be coming to uh, offload through, uh, previous fuel here. So quickly I called my committee members. I have given other members an assignment to go and do. So you can see a few of the members here. So we are basically monitoring the discharge of the product and then after which uh, we will take a measurement with them to make sure the quantity that the truck brought is intact. So before a truck leaves tall, they call you and inform you that a truck is coming? That is, that, that so, I mean, so, that, yeah. so no tanker can come here and offload premix without your consent? That is, that is correct. Why? Yeah, you see, because of the, because of the, the hoarding in the system, mm. and then a lot of complaints to have gone to the top. So we've told them, we've met with the committee member, that henceforth, when we started our work, when, Although we had a call from the, the tour, all right, when we come, and we are, when they come and then even we are not here, they cannot discharge until we are here. I, I want you to take me through what happens. The tanker has come to this place. You called here what, a filling station? Yeah, exactly. So this is a, a discharge point and a station. Exactly, exactly. Can you walk me through what happens? You can just show me. Okay. Thank you. So let's start from here. Uh, this is a tanker. How many liters? Uh, this tanker brought 13,500 liters. 13,500. Sure. And uh, this is a discharge. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, the, 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 this truck you see have four chambers. Okay. It have four chambers. This is the one, two, three, four, as you can mm -hmm. see. When we finish with the discharging, we will, we will take the measurement mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, it is, I mean, he has actually brought 13,500 liters. I see. This is characteristic of premix. We are told that the color was going to be changed. Yeah. Is, is, this, is this the color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the color of the premise. So if I see this and I know that this is premise. Exactly. Premise and for the fisher folks. One other issue that has come up is the one that has to do with filling station people hoarding the premix fuel. And of course, they hoard this in barrels that they intend to sell to the fishermen. Some of them say they buy it for 900 cities, 1,000 cities, and 1,001 cities. So the problem that you're supposed to be fixed apparently is still there. Yeah, thank you very much. I think. Uh, it's a major issue that we were fixed. We were, I mean, we were faced with when we came as a premix monitoring team, mm. and we've been able to meet with the. So far, we've been able to meet with about with the four committees on these drums that you see over here. Okay. And per the information we are having, and then they are giving us is that most of the committee, uh, the committee members, most of them have canoes. Okay. Some have about three, four canoes. So when the premix come. Yes, of course. They will make sure. I mean, they save themselves. Exactly, exactly. But we make sure they pay. They don't just fetch into the drums and then they go out. We make sure they pay the money. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, just behind us, there's, they've built some rooms for them where they kept uh, those things. They are at their motors, their fishing gears, and these things. Mm -hmm. But the rooms are not enough. And then some other ones too, some also fetch, and then they don't have place to, to keep it. Mm. So they keep it here when they're about to go to the fish, and then they come for it. But what happens to the drums then, the drums that were already there before you came in? Yeah, that is what I said. When we came, those drums were there, and then we've been able to, I mean, we've met them, the committee members, uh, the four committees that we have worked so far with. We've met them, and we told them that those are the complaints that we're having. So we want those things to come out from the, I mean, from the filling stations. And they have agreed to do it. And then we've given them an, an, an ultimatum up to uh, next week Friday that we should make sure all those things come out from the, from the filling station. And they have agreed that they'll bring them out? Oh, yes. You know, when changes come, it's difficult. When you, want to, when you put in any, 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 any new changes, it's difficult for people. But we've been able to, I mean, we told them that, that is, it, it is part of our mandate. And so, therefore, everything should come out, I mean, by next week Friday.
So the government would regulate and track the movement of the premix fuel from the Tamaora refinery to the depots here or the filling stations in the landing beaches. Specifically, we are speaking to you from the Tema landing beach. But what happens in terms of sales to the canoe owners? We're going to explore that angle as well. If I wanted to buy into a drum or into a jerry can, how do you sell it to me? Okay, we, we fetch it uh, one gallon, 4.5 per liter is one gallon. Okay. So we calculate it, maybe you buy uh, 10 gallons, so 4.5 times 10, it's 45 liters, then we sell for you. Okay. How much is one gallon? One gallon is 7 CD, 10 pesos. 7 CD, 10 pesos. And this is the same thing at all the places? Yes, that's what we, we have been doing around here. But you have seven stations in this uh, landing beach? Yeah, sure. Is that competitive? Can you reduce it and sell at a cheaper rate so you sell more? No, we can't do it. It's a fixed price that the government has approved for us. So you no. can't do anything about it? Yes. Can you walk me through? Um, so you have a nozzle here. So you, this, this is what you put, uh, I believe, in there. And then you just punch the numbers. Do you collect cash on site or there's a way you arrange payment? No, when you, when you buy, you pay. You, you pay, pay on site. Right. When do you pay back for the product that was brought to you? Oh, after six, no, we have to pay. So this truck, for instance, has brought you 13,000 liters, or is it gallons? 13,500 liters. Okay. How long will it take you to finish this? Oh, this one there, when we start selling, at least at four hours' time now. Four hours? Finish. That means a tanker has to come here every day to service you, or how do you do that? Oh, if we, if we like, the tanker has to come every day, but it's not our command. It depends on the people at the top. So people buy in drums? Oh, yeah. And they, where do they take it to? They take it to fish. Because some people too have rooms there, so they keep it in the room. So, that oh, so they reserve it? Yeah. But is that not what they call hoarding? Where people will buy and hide so that there will be shortage we in the system? We have some people who hoard. That's why the monitoring team is in. Okay. Uh, but for now, they, we don't sell for those people. Is there a maximum that a fisherman can buy? Can you say that no fisherman can buy more than four or five barrels? Oh, we don't do that because the people are plenty. Okay. So but is business good generally? Oh, yeah. Mm. Business is good. And do you get enough to service all the canoe owners all the time? Oh, yes. Yes, that? yes. Okay. We do get. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. Uh, so that's uh, another clarification that that's given to us about how they do their operations uh, when they are provided with the commodity or the product, how they sell it and then how they return the proceeds to government and how they ensure that everybody who needs premix fuel to operate here gets what they need.